Hey guys, it's Sadie, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today, I'm going to be doing a DIY beanbag chair for your phone. And this is super easy, it's so cute, it's literally a personalized beanbag chair that you can put your phone in to watch YouTube videos and Netflix and all that good stuff. Two more things, we hit 300 subscribers, like that's crazy to me, like that blows my mind. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in the past two videos I have put secret messages down below in the description. I don't know if you guys read them, but two videos ago I was thanking you guys for 200 subscribers, and now I have 300 subscribers, and that's crazy. Like, I can't believe 300 people would stand listening to me and watching my videos. It's crazy to me. Thank you so much. You make me so happy. And one more thing, I want to give a shout out to an amazing person, Maria. She has made a fan page on Instagram for me and I literally cannot. She is so nice and she posts daily about my videos and stuff like that and I, bleh, uh, what am I saying? But please go give her a follow, a like, a comment, anything like that because she deserves it. She is so nice. Thank you. I've been talking for a long time so let's just get into this video. So what you're going to need for this DIY are some socks, or one sock, depending on how many styles you want. You're also going to need some beans. I just did some yellow whole beans. Just make sure that they're light colored because you don't want to see them through the sock. And you're also going to need some yarn, hot glue, scissors, a ruler, and a stapler. The very first step to making your DIY beanbag chair for your phone is to turn your sock inside out. Now you're going to pinch up the heel with your fingers and then turn it over to the side that you put your leg in, like not the side that your foot goes in, if you know what I mean. And then you're going to measure five inches from the tip of the heel, and then you're going to cut it at the end of the ruler. And then you're going to flip the heel to the other side of the sock and you're going to measure 5 inches from the point of the heel again but doing it the opposite way and then you're going to cut 5 inches once again. Okay so here is where it gets a bit confusing. You are just going to take the side of the sock that's the leg part and you are going to fold about 1 inch of the leg down like on the outside and then you're going to glue the seam and make sure when you're gluing you're pressing down on the glue so that it doesn't dry like all weird and clumpy if you know what I mean. And you're just going to glue that together so when we flip it inside right it's going to be a nice clean seam. Right feel. Now you're going to unfold the two little flaps that you just going to fold once again one inch of it inside the sock and you're going to glue that down with a glue gun once again while pressing on it so that the glue dries evenly and not clumpy and the seam should look exactly like it did on the other side now you're going to once again feel for the line of glue and staple along the top of that just to be absolutely sure that no beans are going to fall out because it would just be really awkward if you had beans all over your nightstand and you would just really not want to be in that situation so yeah. So now just play around with your sock and set it in the position that it's going to be in just to make sure that there's no holes and that no beans are escaping. So now for the pom-pom part, you're going to measure out a string that's about 10 inches long and then you're going to put that in between your two first fingers. Then you're going to wrap yarn around your finger around a hundred times, yes I said a hundred, and you might lose all circulation in your fingers but it'll be worth it guys, you're going to get a cute pom-pom. Now you're going to need a friend for this one. 
So they're going to take both ends of the string that you cut first. They're going to slide that and all of the yarn off of your fingers and then you're going to tie two knots to make it secure and to make sure that the pom-pom does not fall apart. Now you can cut the two sides of the long string. You're going to cut through all the little loops that you made so that it frays out into a huge pom pom -y thing. If you know what I mean, just look on the screen. Now just repeat that process and you're going to have a beanbag chair and two pom-poms. Now you can hot glue your pom-poms to the corner of your beanbag chair. Speaking my truth, there's no need to panic. No, let's not put a label on it. Let's keep it fun. We don't and you will have a cute, personalized DIY beanbag chair for your phone that you can watch Netflix, YouTube, play music, do anything you want, and it's going to look super cool in your room. So one more quick thing, if you have a sock that's light colored and you can see through it, just put that sock inside the other sock from the same pair and then line it up with the heel and everything. And then treat it like one sock, so make sure you pinch the heel and then turn it to the side that your leg is on. And then cut it at 5 inches and leave it like that and then continue with the rest of the process. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Guys, tell me if you want me to do a YouNow broadcast because I think that would be so much fun. I could just hang out with you guys and talk with you. And by the way, on Twitter, I did a poll of what videos you want to see from me in the fall. So make sure that you go check out my Twitter account because if you want your video to be on this channel, make sure you go tweet it to me. All of my other social media like Instagram, Snapchat, and you now are down below. If you want to watch my last video, it's up in the eye. And thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers and all your support and happiness that you bring me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! And if you feel just thinking I will jump right